Hello guys, so today we're going to be talking about Operation Gothic Surfer, which was on October October 3rd, 1993. It was a really cool battle, and if you want to get like a book, I suggest this book, In the Company of Heroes by Michael Durant. He was a Chief Warrant Officer 4, that's the highest Chief Warrant Officer you can get, and he was a pilot, and his helicopter got shot down in Somalia in 1993 by an RPG, Rocket Propelled Grenade, if you didn't know. So, and the group he was in was the Night Stalkers, and they were really cool. They were known for flying around the Rangers, the 75th Ranger Regiment. And on Operation Gothic Serpent, Delta Force, the highest unit in the United States military, and the Rangers, Tier 2, which is the second highest unit in the United States Army, It was, they were really cool. They were, because... They went in Somalia because the Marines had been giving humanitarian aid to the um, people in Somalia. And then the Somali militia, led by Muhammad Ali, I'm probably butchering his last name, but... Uh, okay. But he, he started killing the people and taking all their food and the humanitarian aid that the Marines were providing. So when the Marines got tired of it and they couldn't help because they didn't have any Marines battalions over there they called the army and told the army if we wanted to come over there and help them deal do the deal so the army being the cool guys as we all know said yes and the rangers this is the beret they wore it was the 75th ranger regiment third battalion that's the battalion that went to gothic serpent in somalia and they um they were protecting the top secret um, unit called Delta Force, which their beret is this beret. It's probably the coolest beret you've ever seen. It is, yes, indeed, it is a green beret. Shiny, see, yeah, shiny. I like that part about it. It's shiny, but it's also, it's cooler than a regular green beret. A regular green beret, you know, has first or fit, 10th Special Forces Group, 11th Special Forces Group, those, 1st through 11th, Flashes, and the Despresso Libre, which is a, I forgot the, what it means, but it's, it's the motto of the Green Berets, the uh, Special Forces. So, two of the biggest, two of my biggest inspirations because i want to be a delta force sniper like these two guys were two of my biggest inf inspirations which if you get this book it'll tell you about them they saved michael durant's l life they saved him when his helicopter crashed gary gordon and randy shugard and they both wore this beret the same one so they were really cool guys and they both died they got the medal of honor the Congressional Medal of Honor, the highest award in the United States military. And they were really, really, really courageous because they killed about 75 Somali militia men. And they, um, and that's pretty good for two two guys with sniper rifles. Not, not AR-15s or anything like that. Machine guns, sniper rifles, bolt action. Yeah, that's pretty good. Because every time you shoot, you have to pull back the bolt and pull it back in front, push it back. So that is really, really impressive. 75 men. So not each, together. And um, they had captured um, what we would call a, a major general of the Somali militia, the highest general under Muhammad Ali. Um that was his main guy. So we captured him. Gary Gordon and them shot right through the engine block, and they stopped his limousine, and they captured him and took him back to to the base in Pakistan to interrogate him and stuff like that. Cool stuff like that. Um, and so they were really cool with that stuff, and, you know, that was really a good accomplishment for them. But... Enough about the the Delta Force. Let's get talking about the Rangers. So we lost 18 in total. 
they lost like 3,500. And for our American speaking friends, um, 3,500. Yeah, so a lot of people compared to 18 that we lost. Um, and uh, Gary Gordon and Randy Shugard were part of that 18 that we lost. But the Rangers, they were driving around in Humvees for security for Delta Force so they could capture the generals, the Somali generals, Somali militia generals that were doing all the, that were ordering all these people to kill all the Somalians for their food and their money and their weapons. So they all got killed almost. They had like 5,000 people in their army and we had... 10 to 20,000 not there but we have a lot of men, men in the army just in the 82nd airborne division there's like 200,000 people in the 82nd airborne division which that's a lot of people for airborne division so michael durant when his helicopter went down his his uh co-pilot his chief and his machine gunner all three died he broke his back in four different spots, and he broke his right femur in two spots. Now, he was a POW for about a month, prison of, prisoner of war, for about a month and a half. Now, that's a lot of pain, not getting your bones fixed for a month and a half after they've been broken. And Walcott, he, Captain Walcott, was a pilot also, and his helicopter got shot down, and it... He, him and his whole crew, the whole helicopter blew up. So they all died. And they had little birds, which are little, they're called little birds because they're little helicopters with machine guns on them. They started wiping all these people out so they could s get the bodies of the guys inside of the cra airplane crashes because no man left behind. That's the motto of the military. You don't leave your buddies behind you don't you, you don't no wrong if you do so they all were really courageous and helping out and trying to get there and we lost 18 men in the process um and um michael durant his friend um he has um his friend gary gordon's wife wrote him a letter and that letter is in this book so if you want to read that letter it's um a really sad letter i've already read the book and if you're too lazy to read a 400 page book go buy black hawk down which is about a 200 page book and if you're still too lazy to read that then go watch the movie black hawk down and um it's a little bit more action than you get in a book but if you're like a bookworm worm like me you need to get the book. I've read both books and watched the movie. It's a really good movie, and I think y'all would love the books a little bit more than the movie if you're like a bookworm like me. And so it's really cool battle. If you want to learn more, you can go to your bookstore, Barnes & Noble is where I got this, and buy it and read the book, and then, you know, you'll know more about than what I just told you about. But, yeah, you'll find it in Barnes & Noble. You could find it online, probably a bit cheaper than Barnes & Noble or any bookstore near you, which, that would be better. I, I wish I hadn't have spent, spent like, $30 on that book and just found it for about 20 or 15 online. But I'll see you next time, and we're going to be talking about some Vietnam veterans that both got the Medal of Honor.